State's highest ranking election official, the Secretary of State, has apologized and is seeking an investigation of her own office. It all centers on an email newsletter that some said looked like campaigning for higher office. News Age chief political reporter Mark Davis joins us with more on the controversy. Mark? Hi, Keith and Ann. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. An investigation by the Hartford Current found that this emailed newsletter from the Secretary of the State's office went to thousands of politically connected Democrats around the state. The Secretary of the State says the emailed newsletter was simply a way to communicate with constituents. She says now she realizes that the fact that the majority of the names on the email list are politically active Democrats, many that have contributed to her past campaigns, made it look like it was campaigning for higher office on the state taxpayer's dime. I can see now how the impression that caused might have been negative, and for that I'm deeply sorry. Although I didn't personally build the list, the buck stops here, and I will take any blame that's assigned. She has formally requested that state auditors examine how the emailed newsletter was made, but the chairman of the state Republican Party had beat her to it. In his letter to state auditors, party chairman Jerry Labriola says, quote, it appears that this list is a taxpayer finance tool to help the political standing of Secretary Merrill, who will be up for election next year. But the Republican leader in the House defended her. I've known Denise Merrill for 20 years, and I believe her. She's an honest woman and a hardworking woman. The attorney general, who is a former Democratic State Party chairman, declined to comment. Until I have all the facts in front of me, uh, in fact, the issue, is, the issue is not formally in front of me. Until that happens, uh, it, it would just be inappropriate for me to comment. The governor also declined to criticize Merrill. The idea that somebody wants to communicate about their office with people who want to be communicated with uh, uh, shouldn't surprise anyone. Do you have an email list of the newsletter people that you no, sent to we do not. all Democrats? No, we do not. Now, if you're having a deja vu about all of this, it's because Merrill's predecessor, Susan Beisowitz, was accused of doing the same thing. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.